What's up guys, DV Apps here. Today I'll be showing you how to make a thumbnail for free. So today we'll be using a free service called Pixlr. Now Pixlr is just a website and I've done some Pixlr tutorials in the past. So some of you may be wondering why do you even need a thumbnail? Aren't the ones when you're uploading good enough? And the answer is no. You need a thumbnail because it makes the video more appealing to your viewers and if someone searches up a tutorial and your video comes up, they're going to click on the video with the best thumbnail because they're going to think that video is more professional because it has a better looking thumbnail and therefore it will be more professional and just be better. So anyways, let's get into this. Firstly, you just want to go to your browser and then go to a website called pixlr.com. So P-I-X-L-R.com. Now once you're on the website, this is how it'll look like. Just go over to sign up for free. Then you can just sign up by typing in your email, typing a password and then clicking on create account. Or you could sign up with Facebook or you could click on more providers and then you can sign up with all these websites. So if you have a Gmail, just click on sign up with Google and then it will take you to another page where you can log in. Now I've already made account so I'll just click on log in and I'll just log in with my Gmail. So once you've signed up and logged in, you come to a page like this. Now just scroll down and then underneath Pixlr Editor, just click on Launch Web App. Now it'll take you to a web page like this, which is the Pixlr Editor interface. Now from here, just click on Create New Image, then give it a name, so I'll just call it Thumbnail. And then click on the presets, scroll down until you see Movie 720p. Just click on that and then make sure that transparent is ticked and then go ahead and click on OK. Now I'll give you a document so if you just want to resize it you can so you can see all of the document and it won't be covered by anything. Now once you've created the document you'll need a background. So some of the backgrounds that I like to use are radial backgrounds which look like this, grunge backgrounds which look like this and also textured backgrounds that are kind of like grunge backgrounds but a bit different. So they look like this. Now you just want to choose a nice background that you like. So you might even want like a gradient background, which is what I use for a lot of my thumbnails. Now once you've found an image that you like, just click on view image. Then you just want to copy the URL. So just highlight all of the URL and then control C. Now just go over to Pixlr, click on file, open image URL. Then just paste the URL over here. So just click on control V, click on OK. And then it will just go ahead and load the image. Now sometimes this doesn't work. So what you can do is just go over to the image, click on save image as, and then save it to your desktop. And then you can just open the image from Pixlr. Now once your image has loaded up, just click on control A, then control X, and then just drag this over to the side, click on thumbnail, and then just paste it there. Now you can just close out of the image so just click on the X. It will ask you if you want to save it. Just click on No. Now to resize it, just go over to Edit. And then click on Free Transform. Now you come up with these arrows. And then you can just hold Shift and then make it smaller. And drag it into the corner. And then just make it bigger. Now once you've resized it to the size you like, just click anywhere underneath there. And then just click on Yes and it will save the transform. Now you need to add text. So to do that, just go over to the text tool, which is this A over here, and then just click on it. Then choose a position for your text. So I'll just make it in the middle. And then choose a font. Let's just choose a Need for Speed font. And then I'll make the text how to upload to YouTube faster. Now once you've typed in the text, you just wanna change the size. So I'll just make it 80 and then you can just drag it around like this, see if it fits or you could just make it smaller again or make it 60, that looks good. Actually I might put it on different layers so I can make the text a bit bigger. I'll just make it a bit bigger now. Right that looks good there and then if you want you can change the color. So I'll make it white and then click on OK. And then once again, click on OK. Now you just want to add effects to your font. To do that, just right click on the text layer and then go down to layer styles. And then you can choose all these different layer styles. So you could add like a drop shadow and then I'll make it 100% opacity, zero distance and 
I'm gonna make the size a bit bigger. You could add an inner shadow, bevel and emboss, outer glow, inner glow. You could do all these different effects. So I'll just add a outer glow, 100% opacity, and I'll make the hardness five. Just change the size, and I'll make it black. Click OK. Actually, I'll turn down the hardness, also the size. Now, once it looks good, just click on OK. And there you have it. You've done your thumbnail. Now, if you want, you could add photos to it. So to do that, once again, just search Google for it. So I might look for a fast forward sign since I am doing a how to upload to YouTube faster. Just click on images and find one that you like. And then also make sure that it's PNG. So you don't get this weird white background when you're pasting it onto your thumbnail. So make sure you type in PNG after this so that you get all the transparent ones. Now, once you've found one that you like, once again, just click on view image, copy the image URL, then go to file, open image URL, and then just paste it there and click on okay. Now I've already opened it. So once again, I'll just click on control A, control X, move this window to the side, click on this and control V. Now I can just close this other window. No, and then just go over to edit, free transform and I'll just make it a bit smaller and then just click on yes to confirm it. Now this looks pretty good but again it's not comparative to Photoshop because Photoshop is like loaded with loads of different features but you are getting it for free so that's pretty good. Now to save this just go over to file, save and then make sure that my computer is selected, give it a name and then for the format do PNG and click on OK. Now it's going to ask where you want to save it, so I'll just save it on my desktop, click on save, and it's saved. Now just go over to your desktop and check, there we go, it's saved, and it doesn't look too bad, and this only take me like 5 minutes, obviously if I spent more time on it, it would look better. That's all for this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, let's see if you can get 5 likes in this video, thanks for watching, peace.